All right, today we want to find the distance from a point, let's call it point P, to a line. Let's put a line over here. This is L, this is our line. And so what we want to do is we just want to find the, we want to find this length here that makes a 90 degree angle uh, or is perpendicular to, to the line L, like that. And so what we can do is if we knew the coordinates of, actually let's do that in green. If we knew the coordinates of this point, oops, it's not working. If we knew the coordinates of this point, we would be able to define some vector um, with its tail at this point and its head at this point. And assuming we already have the equation of this line, we know that it's some given point plus uh, a scalar times the direction vector that's given. All right, and so let's uh, let's find that point. Let's say we were given any point; it doesn't matter. Let's say we were given this point. Okay, and so what we can do is we can take this point, and we can make a vector going from this point to this point in a line to this point P over here that we have. And lastly, uh, we can see one more vector here that we can make with these points. Uh, that's the one if you just go along straight like that and connect these two points. See? So now we have three vectors to work with and when we just started out with a point and a line. So let's just name our vectors. Let's call this, let's say, vector v. This one would be the um, this one could be the projection of v onto the line. Or actually, uh, we could say is a projection of v onto the direction vector, because every scaled up and scaled down version of the direction vector would form this line. And lastly, this vector up here is v minus. Let's do that in green. Stay consistent. V minus the projection. Oops, the projection of v onto d. Right, and that's just uh, that goes back to the vector subtra subtraction video. Uh, you can go back farther in the playlist and find that. Just the difference between these two. And to solve our initial problem, we were looking for the the distance of the point to the line. So all that is is the length of this vector here, the length of the green vector, which is we call it v minus projection of v onto d. That's all we have to do is we just find the length of that vector. So let's uh, let's get started. Let's pick some values for these, and we'll actually work through a real example. You know what? Let's actually do an example in R R three. Okay. So we'll just we'll keep this over here, but we'll say yeah, an example we're going to work through R three. Okay. We just want to find. I want to show you that you can do this uh, with three components or, or in three dimensional space just as easily as you could do it uh, in two dimensional space. So. Let's see what we have. Let's let's say our point uh, that we're given was at one zero two. All right, and let's say that oh, point is equal to that. Let's say that our line has the the equation say three one one plus scalar times our direction vector. Which is negative one, say one zero, zero. Okay. So what we have to do now is first we have to find the first thing we would want to do is find this vector here, v. If we're just pretending that this is a three-dimensional version. All right. So actually, let's uh, let's let's just put these labels onto this picture so you can kind of see what keep track of what's happening. So let's say point P is equal to 1, 0, 2, 2, it looks like 21, that's not right, 2. Uh, and let's say, let's pick this point down here to be the point that we're given. All right. This is some other point, uh, and this is 3, 1, 1. All right? And then we have our direction vector, we have a direction vector of some length going in this direction. Let's draw that in there. D 
is equal to, it was negative 1, negative 1, then positive 1, then 0. Okay, so let's do this. So let's find out this vector. This vector here, if we just subtract point, uh, this point, let's give this, let's call this point Q just so we don't get confused. All right, so let's say we want to find this, we would just subtract Q from P. And to get vector V, let's do it in blue even. Vector V would equal um, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, then negative 1, and 1. All right. And so now we want to find the projection of V onto D. And it's okay if, um, it's okay if the, the projection will be longer than D because it's still going to be going in the same direction. So we're just finding the, the matching components to go in this direction from the projection of V. So let's do that. Let's say that the projection of here we can even write it over here. Projection of D or projection of V onto D would equal D dot V over D dot D. Oops, D dot D. Um, all times the vector d. So what do we get? We get uh, d dot v, where is d? d was 1, negative 1, 1, 0. And v was negative 2, negative 1, 1. All right, and then d dot d is, well, negative 1, 1, 0, dot, negative 1, 1, 0. And this is all times d, negative 1, oops, 1, 0. All right, and so we get, let's see what we get. We get on the top, we would get 2 minus 1 plus 0 would be 1. And on the bottom, we get 1 plus 1 is 2 times d, negative 1, 1, let's make that bigger, 0. Okay, and so let's multiply that out and we'll get negative 1 half, 1 half, and 0. All right, that is the projection of v onto d. That's this vector right here. All right, so we're getting there. We have this vector, we have this vector, and now we want to find the projection uh, or sorry, we want to find v minus the projection of v over d to get this green vector. Okay, so let's just do that over here. Uh, all we have to do is just do simple vector subtraction. So we will say that, oh, I guess, yeah, let's say that, oops, v minus the projection of v onto d is equal to Let's see what we had. Negative 2, negative 1, 1, minus this guy, which was negative 1 half, 1 half, and 0. And we're going to get the vector. I'll just turn it around to fit it in here a little easier. But we will get negative 2 minus negative 1 half is negative 3 halves. Uh, negative 1 minus 1 half is also negative 3 halves. And 1 minus 0 is just 1. All right, so there we have the, we have the components for this vector v minus projection of v over d. Now, all we want to do is we just want to find the length of this vector. So, um, the length here, let's, let's say down here. The length of v minus projection of v under d is going to equal the square root, I don't think I need to make it that big, <laughs> but it's negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves, and 1, dot itself, which is also negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves. Oops negative 3 halves and 1. 
because it's the same thing. So what do we get? Let's see. So we have the square root of, let's see, 9 over 4 plus 9 over 4 plus 1. Okay. And let's put this over 4. Actually, let's just say this is plus 4 over 4. Uh, so we can add these up. You go square root of 22 over 4. Or what we can do is we can reduce this. We could say um, this is the same as 1 half of root 22. All right. And there you go. That's... Uh, the, this, this value here, 1 half times the square root of 22, is how far away our point was from our line.